Law and Artifacts of Mars, and you got to consider the source on this one, the source is NPR. But this isn't a political story, so anyway, this is the latest asteroid killed the Dinos theory. It'll be replaced by something else next week, probably. An asteroid believed to kill off the Dinos smashing on Earth some 66 million years ago. What, did I miss it a million years or something? It used to be 65 million years ago. The sheer force made the planet surface move momentarily act like a liquid. The asteroid ripped open a 60 mile wide hole. From deep within the Anabas, rock hurtled up to the height twice that of Mount Everest and then collapsed to form a ring of mountains. What a vivid imagination. It all happened within five minutes, uh, ten tops, as son Sean Gulick, a geophysicist at the University of Texas, Austin, told the two-way. Gulick helped lead a team of researchers that drink, drilled for samples of that mountain ring in the Chicxulub crater off close to Mexico earlier this year. The initial findings were recently published in the journal Science. It says the samples immediately settled a major debate about how the planet's surface behaves during an asteroid impact, how the mountain ring knows peak ring is formed. Some researchers have argued that the process is dominated by melting on the surface, which would mean that the ring is mainly formed from material moving from side to side. So if things collapse on all sides, fairly shallow, and that's the model of this ring that are created, the shallow material kind of moving towards the center and being uplifted, he says. Others have suggested that there's much more dramatic kind of movement involving fluid-like propelling of material from de deep within the Earth's crust. Gulick says there's a very clear moment during the expedition when the team knew this theory was correct. Science by Proclamation It was just so obvious even the drill for when we were out there, out in our hard hats and so on, looking at the cores coming up. Researchers were seeing pink granite that was typically found deeper within the Earth and not limestone that would have been on the surface during the Cretaceous period. And as it was plain as day, he says, everyone stared at it and went, wow, those are answers from the deep. Gulick lichens the rapid process of what happens when you toss a rock into the pond. Really? It makes a hole initially as the rock penetrates into the pond and the sides will sort of collapse inward towards the hole while the center then rebounds up like a big water droplet rising up. If you picture all this happening in a slightly slower moving fluid, then the water would be, you can envision the center of of that rebounds and splashes upward would kind of collapse outwards. So just the sides are falling in and rebounding center is sort of oh my god I can't even read this. It's worth noting though that even though all the rock behaved like liquid going side it remains silent. It remains solid. Excuse me. However, the materials were either shocked or damaged so much that they were able to temporarily close their, lose their cohesion, move like a slow moving fluid. Big questions remained about how that physical process actually works, he said. Yeah, you think? So, like I said, they'll come up with another theory next week. This one's a little on the amusing side. And this is what they're using to illustrate the asteroid impact. These people don't know. I have my own theories about the uh, 
Dino's, if you look in the Christian Bible, it does not explicitly say that God created any reptilian creatures. I uh, maintain that this is probably a colony planet that was colonized by different species long ago, the reptilian thing what? And, of course, the, you know, mammalians being another. I don't want to get into the Garden of Eden stuff or anything. It's complex. It's not simple like the preacher would have you say. But I think the Christian Bible has some really good insight into some of the things that happened earlier on in, in this planet. Oh well, there's your mad science update for today. Don't come up with a different theory. I've seen theories about volcanoes killing off the demons and all sorts of stuff. It's par for the course of these people. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.